honestly, man, you, you know, keep at it. Like, you know, if you want to do the scripts, do the scripts. If you want to ever return to stand up, and I get why you wouldn't, but if you ever did, I mean, you know, we are missing like that Patrice voice out there. I feel like <laughs> people, seriously, uh, like, people I, that uh, no nonsense, uh, hilarious, brutally honest voice in comedy. I mean, we have Chappelle. There course, is, I mean, there is absolutely no better compliment that I, and, I, and the first time I ever got that compliment, I actually fucking cried. Oh, really? Somebody said, I, yeah, they said I reminded them of Patrice O'Neill. I had that comment happen on my old channel. About four different people said that on the same day. Wow. And I actually got touched because I, I knew Patrice O'Neill before he died. Like really? I didn't know him, know him, but I was working wow. at uh, K Rock Radio here in New York. And, um, I've I, I I ran into him a couple of times and we we were talking and stuff like that and I was it was it was so incredible that wow. me and this dude shared the same philosophy, so it's like it's like when people hear me laugh they like oh my god dude it's like Patrice O'Neill and, and that shit never gets old and when if somebody says that I'm like yo thank you so much if you if I'm gonna be compared to somebody and it's that and, and that's the thing I'm gonna be compared to then god damn it fucking thank you thank you thank you and. That's something that I never get tired of hearing. I've never heard it in a while, but <laughs> I used to hear it all the time, especially well, when I would, you know, react to wrestling videos. One thing I learned from that man is never be afraid to be the truth. Yeah, be the truth. He told me that. He told me that. He's, and I was because I was I was I was the I was a co-producer of a Chris Booker show, and I was being. Uh, uh, I had a guest spot like every week and I told him and I asked him about that. I said, how do I get better at this uh, radio thing? Because, you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm kind of like the you of this show and um, I'm not on it every day. I'm on it like every other week. And he's like, you know, listen, man, just be the truth, bro. Just be the truth. No one can fuck with the truth. And, and, and it turns out I wasn't the only one he said that to, but ever since he said that, I've always went by that philosophy. And wow. ever since then, a lot of things have been really positive. I've had, I've had a lot more positives than negatives. I may have had a few negatives that would outweigh the positives, but it was way more positive in terms of decisions that I made in my personal life than the negative, you know, because I mm -hmm. just, I was like, fuck it. I ain't got no reason to hide who I am. I'm not going to fucking sugarcoat shit. Wow. Well, exactly. I got to get ready to get to get to work. So. All good, buddy. It's been great talking to you. And um, let's do it again sometime soon. Um, I'll put up this. Yo, thank you, man. Yeah, buddy. Um, you're one of my favorites for real. And um, I'm glad to hear you doing so well. And um, yeah, keep at it, man. I mean, you, you have a gift for this, so don't give it up. And I'm just happy that I have such a, a, a I'm glad I have a fan in you and vice versa. I'm glad to be a fan of yours as well. It's Thanks, like, man. You, you've been putting me down since Skybound, bro. And I, I appreciate that. I'm going to have to tell you the story of how I got fired uh, next time. Yeah, okay. I, I'm looking forward to because I wanted to know about that. But I guess well, we'll leave that for next time. But thank you. I'll man. let you know. All right. I'll talk to you later, man. Right, but Peace. <laughs>